Hello there. The purpose of this recording is to introduce you to the standard keyboard layout, um, which is called QWERTY because uh, the first letter at the top left of the keyboard is Q, and then W-E-R-T-Y, and then the rest. So QWERTY is kind of what people call this standard American U.S. keyboard layout. Uh, we are going to be learning um, in this class how to uh, type every letter of the alphabet plus the numbers at the top here and punctuation at the top and the special keys around the sides and the shift and caps lock and the space bar. We're going to be learning all of these keys here on the standard QWERTY keyboard in this class. The main objective here is to be able to type all of these keys without thinking about it, without looking at the keyboard, without um, having to think at all about what you're doing so that when you're typing, you could just, your hands will automatically go, your fingers, fingers will automatically go where you need them to go. That's called, this is called touch typing, where you can type by touch, you don't look, right? You don't look at the keyboard by touch, you can type um, all the letters on the keyboard without looking. Touch typing. All right, so to get there, you need to build your muscle memory so that your fingers are doing all the work be, uh, because the your fingers have memorized your body. Uh, muscles in your hands, arms, fingers uh, have memorized how to do the, the right letter, the right key when you need it. Um, it's the same principle as a musical instrument, uh, learning a musical instrument. Um, a, the, the, those musicians who can play their musical instruments without thinking about it, they're the ones who are the masters of their instruments, right? So we, 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 in this class, we hope to get you not quite maybe to the master level, but at least to the point where you can type it, um, most of the keys on the keyboard without even thinking about it. All right, so the first thing to notice, uh, let's, I want you to do just this right now. Hold your two fingers, your two index fingers out like this. All right, so place the left index finger on the F key and the right index finger on the J key. And you'll notice when you're touching these, move them around a little, little bit and feel the little bump on the keyboard. And if you look, you can see there should be a little bump on the F and the J. Those two keys are called the home keys home keys and um, they are where your fingers should always go when you place your hands on the keyboard that's how you know where you are home right the, then when you relax the other fingers on your hands they should go on the ASDF right and then the JKL semicolon that is called the home row all right, the home row. When you place your hands on the keyboard from now on in your life, when you have to type at the keyboard, place your hands first to F their index fingers on the F and J, and then relax the other the rest of your fingers so they're on the home row. All right. So doing this, we know that if we want to type an F, we type this left index finger. If we want to type a J, we just punch our right index finger, right? If we want to type a D, we type this, we press this left middle finger. Boom. If we want to type a K, we type this middle finger on the right hand. Uh, the ring finger on the left is S, ring finger on the right is L, pinky on the left is A, pinky on the right is semicolon, all right? And then notice where your thumbs are. See where your thumbs are? They should be right on the key, the uh, space bar. And you, if you want to type a space, you can use either thumb. So um, this is, again, the home row, the, the home keys, F and J, the home row, A, S, D, F, J, K, L, semicolon, and then your thumbs on the space bar. Um, thanks for paying attention to this video. This is the, probably the, the, the most important lesson that you can start with in, on your way to becoming a touch typist. Thanks.